Let's be honest, the AI hype train has been running off the rails for a while now. Every week there's a new revolutionary model, a new multi-billion dollar valuation, a new CEO telling you that their creation is going to either save humanity or end it. We're living in a tech bubble fueled by venture capital and marketing slogans. They want you to believe the future of artificial intelligence is a luxury good, a premium subscription service forged in their shiny Silicon Valley headquarters. They want you to believe you have to pay a steep price for a ticket to this future. But what if the ticket was suddenly free? What if the game just got flipped on its head by an outsider? A new player who didn't bother with a press conference or a fancy launch event, but instead executed a quiet, almost silent drop on a coding website. A player that's not just competing with the big boys, but is already beating them. And then they're doing it for pennies on the dollar. This is the story of DeepSeek Fee 3.1, the open source nuke that just got dropped on the AI industry. And in the next minutes, I'm gonna break down why this changes everything. So grab a drink, settle in, because this is the deep dive they don't want you to hear. Part one, the new contender. All right, before we get into the corporate drama and the market meltdowns, let's get on the same page. We've all used ChatGPT. You ask it to write an email, a workout plan, or some code, and it spits it out. These are large language models, or LLMs. For a long time, the best ones, the frontier models, were kept under lock and key. You could use them through an API, but you couldn't see the code, you couldn't modify them, and you certainly couldn't own them. DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup, just walked onto the scene and open-sourced their flagship model, V3.1. We're talking 685 billion parameters. That's the raw horsepower, the size of the model's brain and a 128,000 token context window. That means it can hold the equivalent of a 300-page book in its memory at one time. But here's the most disruptive part. They released it under the MIT license. For anyone who's not a coder, that's basically the most permissive license you can have. It means anyone can download it, modify it, and use it for whatever they want, including commercial products, for free. This isn't a new product launch. It's a strategic weapon released into the wild. Part two, under the hood, how it works. So how is this thing so good? It's not just bigger, it's smarter. DeepSeek Fee 3.1 uses a revolutionary hybrid architecture. It can operate in two modes. The first is a thinking mode, which uses what's called a chain of thought process. It basically talks itself through a complex problem step by step before giving you the answer. This is perfect for tough coding, math, or reasoning tasks. Then, with a simple switch in the code, it can flip to a non-thinking mode for quick, direct answers. It's the difference between a calculated chess move and a reflex action. This flexibility is something we haven't seen executed this well before. The other piece of the puzzle is its mixture of experts design, or MOE. This is the key to its insane efficiency. Imagine you have a team of 671 world-class experts on every topic imaginable. When you ask a question about physics, you don't need the history expert or the poetry expert to waste their brain power on it. You just need the physicist. That's how MOE works. Even though the model has a massive 671 billion parameters, the experts, it only activates about 37 billion for any given task. It intelligently routes your request to the right experts within the network. This gives you the power of a giant model, but with the speed and cost of a much smaller one. It's brilliant. Part three, David versus Goliath, the benchmarks. So it's open and it's built smart, but can it actually hang with the multi-billion dollar Goliaths? The numbers don't lie. Let's look at the benchmarks. The Ader programming benchmark isn't just about writing simple code. It tests an AI's ability to understand entire code bases, fix complex bugs, and implement new features. It's a real world test of a developer agent and V3.1 scored a 71.6%, solidly beating Anthropic's top-tier model, Claude Opus 4. And it's not a one-trick pony. On MMLU, which stands for Massive Multitask Language Understanding, it's in the same league as the rumored GPT-5. This test covers 57 subjects, from high school math to law, to see if the AI is a well-rounded intellect. On SVG Bench, which tests its ability to reason about visual and spatial data, it's right on the heels of GPT 4.1 Mini. The takeaway is clear. This isn't some cheap knockoff from a copycat company. This is a legitimate frontier level AI model that can compete with, and in some cases surpass, 
the most expensive and exclusive models on the planet. Part four, the price war to end all price wars. And this is where the story goes from a tech disruption to a full-blown market earthquake. Let's go back to that coding task where DeepSeek V 3.1 beat Claude Opus 4. If you were a startup trying to build a product using Claude's API, that single task would cost you around $70. Now imagine doing that thousands of times a day. Your costs would be astronomical. With DeepSeek V 3.1, because you can run the open source model on your own hardware, that same task costs about a dollar. It's not two times cheaper. It's not 10 times cheaper. It is 68 times cheaper. This completely obliterates the main barrier to entry for building with AI. For years, only the biggest companies with the deepest pockets could afford to operate at the cutting edge. DeepSeek just handed the keys to the kingdom, to every independent developer, every bootstrapped startup, every researcher at a university. They're not just undercutting the competition, they are democratizing a technology that was rapidly becoming centralized. Part five, the industry ripple effect. So how does Silicon Valley respond? This is a checkmate move. They have two options, and both are bad for their current business model. Option one, they do nothing. They keep their models closed and their prices high, and they watch as a global open source community builds a massive ecosystem of tools and applications around DeepSeek, slowly making them irrelevant. Option two, they compete. They lower their prices dramatically and maybe even open source some of their own models. This would trigger a price war that would vaporize their profit margins. DeepSeek has forced their hand. They can't ignore this. We're already seeing whispers of price cuts from competitors. The panic is real. This also changes the narrative around what it takes to build these models. We were told you needed billions of dollars in state-of-the-art supercomputers. Well, DeepSeek trained V 3.1 for just $5.6 million using 2,000 slower NVIDIA chips. They proved that you don't need a nation state's budget to compete. You just need to be smarter. This puts pressure not just on OpenAI, but on the entire hardware ecosystem that has benefited from this bigger is better arms race. Part six, what this actually means for you. Okay, enough with the industry analysis. What does this mean for you? Let's break it down. If you're a gamer, for years, we've been promised NPCs with radiant AI that feel alive. It never really happened because running complex AI for every character is too expensive. With cheap, powerful models like this, it's finally possible. Imagine worlds where every character has a unique personality, remembers your past actions, and can have a completely unscripted conversation with you. That's the future this unlocks. If you're an entrepreneur, or have a side hustle. Think of a business idea you had that required AI, but was too expensive to build. It's now on the table. An AI tool that analyzes contracts for small business owners for a few bucks a month. A hyper-personalized meal planning app that understands your specific tastes and dietary needs. An automated YouTube channel that creates content from scratch. The barrier is no longer cost, it's creativity. If you're a developer or just tech savvy, you can now run a frontier level model on your own machine. Forget APIs, forget data privacy concerns. You can build a truly personal AI assistant that has access to your local files, learns your habits, and operates completely offline. You can build tools for your own workflow that are perfectly tailored to you without paying a monthly subscription. The power is back in your hands. Part seven, the China factor and the future. Now, we have to talk about the geopolitics. This isn't just a company releasing a product. This is a strategic move in the global tech race between the US and China. For the past few years, the US has dominated the AI conversation with its closed proprietary models. China has responded not by creating its own walled gardens, but by flooding the world with powerful open source technology. It's a brilliant asymmetric strategy. It fosters a global community of developers who become reliant on and familiar with Chinese AI systems. It accelerates global innovation, positioning China as a key enabler of that innovation. When you look at history, every major leap forward was driven by the democratization of technology. The printing press took knowledge out of the hands of the few. The personal computer gave computing power to the masses. The internet gave everyone a distribution channel. Open source AI like DeepSeek V 3.1 is the next step in that story. It's taking the most powerful tool of our time out of the exclusive clubs of Silicon Valley and giving it to the world. And the consequences of that will be massive.
unpredictable and incredibly exciting. So, while the tech giants were busy with their press releases and their billion-dollar funding rounds, DeepSeek was in the lab, building a weapon that has fundamentally and permanently altered the landscape of the AI industry. They didn't just release a better model, they released a better model for free. And there's no coming back from that. The AI war is no longer a spectator sport. It's a game you can now play. The question is, what will you build? What problem will you solve? Is this the beginning of a new era of decentralized innovation? Or will the big tech monopolies find a way to regain control? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear your take. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the tech that's actually changing the world, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. The revolution will not be televised, but we'll cover it here.